Today's a very exciting day, okay, because I'm going to see Omar Apollo today with my friends and I just wanted to film a get ready with me. I'm not going to vlog it because I feel like it might be a bit hectic and also I'm going with a few friends and I've never vlogged in front of them. Introverted problems or shy problems. I might include some clips of the concert at the end of this video if you guys want to see that But yeah, I'm excited. I woke up like an hour ago. I already ate breakfast right now I need to go take a shower or wash my hair cuz oof She's a little greasy and then I'm gonna do my makeup. Oh This is not even it. I'm gonna do my makeup get dressed and then meet up with my amigos The weather outside is really gross and the concert is in San Francisco and it's been really cold recently, like really cold, like hella windy. But I don't have any good like outerwear, like jackets. Is it raining? Oh my God, don't tell me it's raining. It just started raining right now. I already had an outfit, but I might have to change it if it continues to rain. But um, yeah, the weather has been really ugly recently. I was hoping to wear like a cute little like spaghetti and like crop top and like a skirt. We'll decide that later. Right now, I feel like I'm running a bit late, so I really need to go take a shower because... <laughs> Okay, there's so many things I need to say, but I'll say that after I take a shower. So let's go take a shower. Let's go. Okay, makeup time. I'm gonna do the same makeup that I always do, so nothing's new. I'm so excited, guys. Like, I'm gonna pee everywhere. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Last night, I was listening to his, like, the songs that he's gonna perform. Tell me why I started crying. I started tearing up, and I was like, I was like, <laughs> funny story. The way I discovered him, what the heck, can you come out? The way I discovered him is actually really funny because I found him through TikTok. It wasn't even like I heard like one of his songs went viral or anything like that. Like, like it wasn't like that. Usually that's how a lot of artists are discovered when like one of their songs go viral on TikTok or, you know, recommended by a friend. With him, it was different. It's actually a funny story. This was like the beginning of the pandemic during quarantine. I guess like towards the middle, like the pandemic happened in March of 2020 is when the pandemic happened. I guess like... August of that same year is when I discovered him. When I first got into TikTok, I wasn't in like K-pop TikTok yet. Like I was still like discovering like the things I wanted to. My For You page was like kind of all over the place. I think primarily what I was following or what my For You page was, was a lot of like fashion people, like a lot of, you know, aesthetic, grungy, indie creators. And so I followed a bunch of them. And I remember I followed this one kid and I thought he was so cute. I follow him on Instagram, I follow him on TikTok and he was like a big creator. I don't think he he, he posts anymore but i followed him right and one day like one of his videos came up on my for you page his video was basically like oh if you listen to these artists like let's be friends and i was like <laughs> i was like oh i was like i want to be your friend and i thought he was really cute i thought he was really attractive i look crazy i mean i listened to the music not because i'm i was like oh i'm gonna be his friend if i do he was i think he was playing some of the songs of the artists that he was talking about and i ended up really liking the omar songs because he like he mentioned one of Omar's songs. And then I went to Omar, like his discography on Spotify. I was like, damn, this is hella good. And then that's how like I discovered Omar. But I just thought it was funny how like, it was from that one video of the guy was like, oh, like if you listen to these artists, like let's be friends. And then I remember everyone in the comments was like simping over him, over the creator. And we're like, oh my God, like I listen to him, like we should be friends. And I was like, damn. That was me. That's how I discovered Omar and I've been in love with him ever since. I replayed one of his songs, Erase and Imagine You like crazy during quarantine. And those were like my two top favorite songs during the pandemic. And you know, his music like means a lot to me. It's just crazy that I'm gonna be able to see him. It's gonna feel so surreal. And then I ended up introducing Omar to Fernanda and then also my two other friends that are also going. But my two other friends don't really listen to him. One of them does, but the other one is just coming just cause. But it's mostly just me who's like hella hyped, I guess. 
or not that they're not hyped but you know i was like we should all go together they were like okay i think i'm gonna make like a little mini vlog for like Instagram reels or TikTok or whatever. I'm not gonna completely vlog everything just cuz cuz I'm shy Also, Omar Apollo fans are so hot like they're so attractive. Literally, I'm gonna be crushing on everyone I'm really excited to hear erase. He's performing erase. I'm excited to hear 219 which is his which is his corrido song apparently he's gonna perform it i was really surprised that he was i didn't think he was i'm excited for kickback i'm excited for want you around is so good oh my god and the fact that i have vip and i'm most likely gonna be like hella close to him is just not good it's not good for me for my outfit today i'm really struggling guys because <laughs> You see, it was raining when I before I was gonna go take a shower. Now it's freaking sunny. And also, I'm not in San Francisco right now, so maybe it's like different over there. But this weather has me messed up, bro. Like I, I never know what to wear. Like one minute I'm sweating, and then the other minute I'm like freaking cold. I don't like it. And that's literally San Francisco weather, like 24/7. And I texted Fernanda. I was like, I don't know what to wear, girl. She's like, me neither. She's like, I want to wear something comfy, but like nothing looks good and i'm like yeah guys for as much clothes that i have literally sometimes i'm like i have nothing to wear and i know that's a toxic trait because i have so much clothes so much clothes i haven't worn but this weather majority of my clothes are for like warm weather and so i haven't been able to wear a lot of my clothes because it's been freaking windy and disgusting outside and cloudy but guys when summer hits <laughs> I was literally struggling struggling trying to pick an outfit for today that I literally I went to like my K-pop inspired outfits YouTube videos I made for like P1 Harmony and Twice concert I outfit ideas and I, I literally went to those videos and I was like okay I'm gonna just wear one of these because I literally have no idea what to wear and <laughs> I really like one of the outfits I made for P1 Harmony, so I'm literally gonna recreate that. Like, I'll show you guys after, but I think that's what I'm gonna wear today. I also do wanna go comfy because, guys, I'm gonna be sweating. If it was a lot warmer today, I would definitely go all out and wear some scandalous, crazy outfit, but it's just not realistic, guys. Also, I need to re dye my hair. Are you kidding? Look at these ugly roots not good i need to go book an appointment except i don't know if i'm gonna re-dye the whole thing or just do my roots but this bottom layer is looking kind of not good and i have a co-worker who also has blue hair like literally the same shade and she was like we should go dye it together i was like bet but i don't know if that's actually gonna happen because you know when you like talk to your co-workers or like friends and you're like oh we should do this and like it never happens that's what it feels like and i'm a girl i'm trying to get my hair done done quick asap because it's not looking good and i don't wash my hair often so my hair gets really oily and it used to not be a problem where my hair was just all blue like the oil wasn't as noticeable if anything it made my hair look healthy you know because the bleach kind of damaged it now that the roots are black like my natural hair when it gets oily you can tell and <sighs> last time i made a tiktok last time and someone was like girl your your hair is hella oily i was like why do you gotta point it out like i know i know my hair looks oily you don't need to point it out like what's the point of pointing it out anyways no hate to that person but it got me kind of heated i was like i know it's oily i don't wash my hair that often because hashtag dyed hair problems you can't wash your hair often or else it's gonna fade then it's gonna be a waste of 200 bucks imagine if i brought one of my k-pop light sticks that'd be a vibe i don't want to risk them not allowing it in and i don't want to go through that trouble that'd be hella funny uh, i think the venue is really small and i don't want to risk taking it and then like it being hella obvious you know that like there's something there i don't like the attention all on me oh i should bring my mini one oh shut up oh my god where is it my nct mini light stick I'm gonna do that. Oh my god, the way my brain works. No, shut up. I'm gonna bring... Oh my god, wait. The way... <gasps> does Fernanda have one? I don't think she does. Damn it. Eyebrows done. <gasps> I'm stupid. I didn't put BB cream. Nobody listens to the radio, baby. The DPR tickets are gonna be released soon. And I didn't realize I really wanted to see DPR until I was in the shower. And I was like singing to DPR and I was like, damn. Like I've been a fan of his for like a long time now. I'm gonna try and get tickets for Fernanda and I. Let's hope that that works out because I just know his concerts are so hyped. His energy is unmatched. Then the boys still haven't released their tour dates. Can okay, do eyeliner, BRB. Damn, look at that. Oh my gosh. Guys, practice makes perfect. Oh 
Oh my god, something funny happened. Fernanda and I, we went to go see Justin Bieber, right? We took our NCT and Super M light sticks because we've seen other people take their K-pop light sticks to um, like non-K-pop concerts because overall it's just a cute thing to just wave around it's just like a little light you know i made a vlog of the justin bieber concert and so did she someone commented on her video and was like this isn't hate to that person but i just thought it was kind of funny and just like there was no point to the comment they were like oh like this was such a cute vlog like it was so cute like i i'm glad you guys have fun or whatever and then they mentioned how they didn't think it was right that we took our k-pop light sticks because you know we're there to see another artist and not NCT and they were like I know we love NCT and stuff but like this is Justin Bieber time like you're going there to see Justin Bieber not to talk about NCT and I was like I was like what I was like is this real I know that's like an issue within the k-pop community like let's say going to got seven concert and then taking a twice light stick or you know taking a, a, a light stick to a concert that isn't their light stick you know i know that's like an issue it's like a debate within the k-pop community like some people think it's offensive or like not offensive but they think it's like disrespectful to take a light stick that's not of the artist that you're gonna go see but the other half says like it's fine like it's literally just a light and like i agree it's just a light you paid to go see the artist so you you already spent money on going to see the artist and some people can't afford to buy multiple light sticks so they just take the one that they have like some people ult a bunch of groups but they can only afford like one light stick so maybe they only have that red velvet light stick and they just take that one to all the k-pop concerts they go to because they can't afford to just buy all of these light sticks you know because they're expensive i know there's like this debate within the k-pop community so like i was aware of that but then the fact that someone said that about Justin Bieber, like <laughs> about Justin Bieber, like what? Like Justin Bieber does not care. He does not care. Also, we were sitting literally all the way at the top. Like there's no way he would have seen that and been like, oh, take that down. This is a Justin Bieber. This is my concert, not NCT. Justin Bieber is literally a Neo, okay? It's confirmed. He's literally an N citizen. He's a Neo. He's part of NCT, literally. Yeah, I just thought that comment was funny. I wasn't expecting it. Fernanda, like, sent it to me and, like, a few of other friends. And I was like, what? I just saw that. I was like, there's no way this is real right now. I just thought it was kind of funny. Either way, they didn't let us take in the light sticks inside the SAP, NS <laughs> SAP Center because they're hella strict in there. They didn't let us bring it, bring it in, so it doesn't even matter. But it wouldn't have mattered if we brought it in anyways, like, you know? I don't think that it's, like, rude or disrespectful to take a light. Like, if I went to an NCT concert and I saw people taking their BTS light sticks, their 17 light sticks, or their twice light stick, I'd be like, hell yeah! It just shows, like, oh, okay, cool, like, there's multis here or whatever. You know, I don't think it's really that deep that how people are making it out to be. And I honestly don't think that the idols care. That, that's just my two cents. That's just my opinion. Literally, makeup looks so gross until you put on your lipstick. Like, look at this. I look dead. I look like I got the blood sucked out of me. But it's literally because I don't have any lipstick on. It was funny because at the Justin Bieber concert, we took our light sticks, right? We also took our PCs. Of course, I brought Mark PCs. Are you kidding? Need to bring my man to go see his man. So I took the Mark PCs in the little cute PC holders. And as soon as we got inside the stadium thing, I was like taking pictures of the PC holder. I was like put the, putting it out in front of like the whole view of the arena. And like I was just taking pictures of it. And I was scared that people behind me or like the girls near me were going to be like, what is she doing? But they didn't say anything, thank God. It was definitely a different environment. Totally different. At first, me and Fernanda, or at least I was kind of awkward. I was like, oh, it's kind of weird. But it was fun. And I got to bring... I gotta bring my boy Mark. I think we need to make a petition to take Mark and all the Neos to go see Justin Bieber live. I think that would make the year. Okay, I finished my makeup. And now we're gonna... I'm gonna show you guys the outfit. And then do my hair. Oh my gosh, I don't even know what to do with my hair. Ew! Okay, BRB. Okay, this is a fit. I'll show me standing later. I'm gonna do the same basic hairstyle that I always do. My gancho. Ooh, I might not do the gancho, but I am gonna do a side part. Ew. I don't know if I wanna let my hair down. My hair's so gross when it's down is the thing. Okay, I might either do the gancho thing or do a half up, half down hairdo. Oh my gosh. Oh, my friend's calling me. Hello? Oh, 
Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Sorry. <laughs> what I was gonna say, what time is the concert? Doors open at 7. Okay, and we're meeting up at 1. Are we eating? <laughs> yeah, we can. Well, I want to. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, this is a fit. Ooh, ooh. This is like the P1 Harmony outfit, like one of the choices, but instead of the white shirt, I did black. I'm just wearing my docks. These blue Dickies that I got from the Dickies, like Dickies.com. This leather vest that I thrifted. And then this like long sleeve V cut um, shirt from Brandy Melville. I'm just wearing my rings. And then I'm carrying this Unif leather shoulder bag. I did my hair up in this like half up half down hairdo and then i'm just wearing these sunglasses i'll probably take these sunglasses off i don't want them to get lost yeah then i'm gonna take my mask a lot of people ask where i get my masks i get them from daiso and yeah isn't it cute Ooh. my friend's gonna pick me up like right now actually he just texted me and then we're gonna head out so that's basically it for this get ready with me i hope you guys enjoy i'll most likely put little clips of the concert here like after this um so if you guys want to watch that you guys can but don't forget to follow me on my social media i'll be posting pictures from today and videos and stuff and yeah thank you guys for watching if you guys are gonna go see omar have fun stay safe i'll see you guys in my next video i'm running out of breath okay i need to go now goodbye <laughs>